Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. I thought we'd do something different today because although we're a channel about painting and decorating and color, I'm also a huge fan of movies and film and cinema. And the thing is, color plays a huge part in really awesome cinematography. And one of my favorite filmmakers of all time has to be Stanley Kubrick. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take you on a cinematic journey today that will test your film knowledge, but most importantly, your color perception. I've put together four color palettes for four of my favorite Stanley Kubrick movies, and I want you to guess the movie based on the colors. I'll give you like five seconds for each one, okay? <laughs> so for those of you who don't know Stanley Kubrick, he's a visionary filmmaker renowned for his meticulous attention to detail. And this applies to nearly all of the visual elements in his films, which is most important to me because I'm a visual guy, I like colors. And also his color palettes are often as memorable as the stories themselves, playing a crucial role in creating the overall vibe, the atmosphere, and the mood of each film. So in this challenge, I'm gonna present you four color palettes that all have four colors in each of them, and they all represent the colors that represent the movie to me. Your task is to guess the movie based solely on the colors. May seem easy and some of them are kind of super easy, but trust me, Kubrick's color choices are often subtle and thought provoking. So are you up for the challenge? Let's see how well you know your Kubrick color palettes. Round one. The four colors we're going to take a look at are teal, deep red, indigo, and orange. So palette number one includes the first color, which is called Grand Canal, kind of a teal, right? Then you have luxurious Red, could be a couple movies by Kubrick. You then have Indigo, the third color, a bit of a dark navy purpley color. I mean, it's an Indigo. And then the fourth one, I'll pause for a little bit before I give you this one because I might give it away. It's called Invigorate. What is the movie? Three, two, one, a clockwork orange. <laughs> so clearly the orange kind of gives it away, but it's not like he hasn't used orange in other films, right? I think this color palette is associated with a clockwork orange's dystopian future and the brutalness, the violence and the rebellion of the characters. The orange represents the main character's aggression and kind of a youthful, fun in a really weird, crazy way, this youthful energy essentially. And then the other colors I literally took from different scenes throughout the movie. The dark indigo kind of represents that sense of coldness and detachment that he has with society. A very colorful film for sure. Okay, round two. All right, so pat yourself on the back if you got that one right. This next one maybe isn't as easy, but we'll see. So the first color I'm gonna show you is a bit of an olive green. It's called artichoke. This is a color that has a deep green quality with a little bit of that yellow undertone to warm it up, kind of like an artichoke or an olive. Second is dried edamame, which is a little more towards the khaki side of things. You then have homestead brown, which is obviously a deep dark brown that is a little bit shaded, a little bit blackened as well. And then mindful gray, just to sort of give you a very neutral sort of finish to the overall palette. Don't think about this one too hard. You see the colors. What do they kind of look like? Three, two, one. The movie is Full Metal Jacket. I was clearly going for an army camo vibe, which is very much what the movie is about. The color palette is associated with the gritty war-torn setting of Vietnam. All the colors, except maybe artichoke, they tend to feel a little more muted, which reflects the harsh realities of war and the psychological toll it takes on the soldiers. And it's just all about that. Not to get too deep or anything, but these are the colors that really screamed Full Metal Jacket. And there's a lot of screaming in that movie too. A lot of profanity. I'm not trying to get demonetized. How are you guys doing so far? Two films done, two more to go. What a world we live in. You don't need to physically go to a paint store anymore. Get your paint and supplies from our shop, thepaintpeople.com. Whether you're doing it yourself or you're a professional, thepaintpeople.com has all your paint and paint related needs. So check it out in the description down below. This next palette I had fun putting together. Um, it is, it's quite the movie. The first one is called Friendly Yellow. Not a very friendly movie, um, but this color, there was a scene that I did sort of see this kind of color within it. And it's actually very tied to the second color, Bluebell. If you look at a still of this movie, I'll show you after, you'll see these two colors together in different things, being used on different surfaces. The third color, very iconic color from the movie, it's Heartthrob, so a very deep, rich red. And then of course you have the fourth color, Color, snowbound. So all together now, what is that film with these four colors put together? In three, two, one, The Shining. You have yellow trim, you have blue dresses, 
You have red blood clothing as well. And then of course, Snowbound, got the snow. This color palette is iconic to the film to me. It represents the themes of madness and violence, and more importantly, isolation. The bright red evokes danger and blood, while the white and yellow create a sense of sterile institutional coldness, just being just left on your own. I guess you're with your family, but I guess it doesn't matter because there's still that crazy feeling of claustrophobia and being alone. And my fourth Kubrick color palette involves real red, sight white, moon mist, and cyberspace. <laughs> Three, two, one. 2001 A Space Odyssey. This color palette reflects the futuristic and otherworldly setting of the film. The stark contrast between the lighter white colors and the deeper dark colors creates this sense of mystery and the unknown. And of course that red is a little more fiery than the shining one. And it's just reflected by the astronauts and their suits that they would wear. It's a beautiful poppy color that I really enjoy. So how did you do? Were you able to guess all the movies? I tried to make it a little bit easy on you guys because the first of this guess the movie movie color palette. Let us know how you did below. Thanks for playing along and stay tuned for more movie related challenges. I really hope this takes off. This is fun. <laughs>